End of Module 4 Review, Grade 4, Engage New York, Number 3. Number 3. For each part below, explain how the measure of the unknown angle can be found without using a protractor. A. Find the measure of angle A. So when we look at angle A, this is angle A all the way around, and the information it gave us is this 75 degrees for the smaller angle. So we start with the information that you should know that from here to here is 360 degrees because a circle has 360 degrees and that would be all the way around. Then if we can subtract the 75 degrees that we know is this angle, that will tell us what is left over for the angle A. So if we go 0 minus 5, you can't do it. You have to borrow from the 6. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 7, you can't do it. You need to borrow from the 3. You get 15 minus 7. You could count up to find that out. Um, so 7, and then you count up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you count those where you have 5 and 3, which is 8. And then 2 minus nothing is 2. So angle A equals 285 degrees. And if you wanted to ask your favorite question, you could double check. Is angle A bigger or smaller than 90 degrees? Well, it's definitely bigger, right, on this outside. So that makes 285 degrees a logical answer. Looking at B, in this figure, A, B, and C lie on a line. Find the measure of angle A, B, D. So I'm looking for A, B, D, and I know that A, B, C create a line. That tells us that angle A, B, C from, sorry, from here all the way to here would be 180 degrees. So if I subtract the 55, that will give me the total for the angle we're looking for. 0 minus 5, you can't do it, so you borrow from the 8, leaving you with 7. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. 1 minus no nothing is 1, so it's 125 degrees. So you've got 125 degrees for angle A, B, D. Angle A, B, D equals 125 degrees. There you go. And then let's go to look at C. Problem C gets a little more complicated. So we can use a lot of our information here. So I see that um, sorry for my pause. I see that this is a line. Alright? So that means from here to here would be 180 degrees. And I want to subtract this part. So I'm going to add 80 plus 50 to get 130. And I'm going to subtract that from the 180. 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. So you've got 50 degrees for this angle here, all right? But the question is actually asking for angle B. So now I want to notice that this is a straight line, meaning that from here to here is 180 degrees. So I'm going to go 180 minus this 50 would give me 130 degrees. So angle D, B, C equals 130 degrees. And that's number three, best of 